The Meaning of Tingo by Adam Jacko de Buono. One day while I was working as a researcher for the BBC quiz programme QI, I picked up a weighty Albanian dictionary and discovered that the Albanians have no fewer than 27 words for eyebrows and the same number for moustache, ranging from moustache mad or bushy to moustache poshed or drooping at both ends. Soon I was unable to go near a second-hand bookshop or library without seeking out the shelves where the foreign language dictionaries were kept. In time, I combed through more than two million words in hundreds of dictionaries. I trawled the internet, phoned embassies, tracked down foreign language speakers who could confirm my findings. Who knew, for example, that Persian has a word for a camel that won't give milk until her nostrils have been tickled, nakur? Or that the Inuits have a verb for to exchange wives for a few days only, aerojarek? Or why does Pascuensi, spoken on Easter Island, offer tingo? which means to borrow things from a friend's house one by one until there's nothing left. Whether borrowing words is abusive probably depends on the ear of the beholder. The English language has a long-established, voracious tendency to naturalize foreign words ad hoc, feng shui, croissant, kindergarten. We've been borrowing them from other cultures for centuries, but there's so many we've missed. Our body-conscious culture might have some use for the Hawaiian awawa, the gap between each finger or toe, Surely we could use the Tulu from India, Karelu, for the mark left on the skin by wearing anything tight. And how could Americans pass up on the German Kummerspeck for the excess weight one gains from emotion-related overeating? Literally, it translates as grief bacon. Grass belong fez from the Papua New Guinea Tok Pisin would be more poetic than beard. It means grass belonging to the face. So with the German back by fensik or face that cries out for a fist in it. Persian has marge for looking beautiful after a disease, which deftly used could be flattering to someone, Vaseline in French, but to apply Vaseline. But you'd have to lay it on thick for a netter teeper, which in Czech is someone who finds it difficult to take a hint. Western-style anger management might be enriched by ideas borrowed from abroad. The Japanese have identified makamaka, or feeling so angry that one feels like throwing up. The Malays speak of garagas, or to comb one's hair in anger. Among Tishluba speakers in the Congo, one may be recognized as an Ilunga, someone who's ready to forgive any abuse for the first time, tolerate it a second time, but never a third time. Pascuensi, the language that brings us Tingo, also offers Hakamuru, means to keep borrowed objects until the owner has to ask for them back. <laughs>